Hey, what is up guys? I know I's help here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if your iPhone ever feels slow or sluggish, especially if you're using an iPhone over two to three years, then it's time that you do this that I'm about to show you on your iPhone in order to make your iPhone a lot faster, guarantee. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now the first thing I would like to talk about is the web browser. Safari on your iPhone as we use it over time will build up some data which is called cache and cookies. Now in order to clear this out to get better performance what you want to do is you want to go into settings you want to find the Safari extension here in settings click into that and then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom until you find the advanced options right here and then you want to go into web data. This will allow you to clear the web data history of course the cookies and cache from your web browser in order to give you better performance performance once you click remove all web data of course this is going to close out all your tabs so keep that in mind just click remove and this will clear out all the data that's been collected over years on your iPhone with Safari web browser giving you better browsing performance next I want to talk about messages now in messages as time goes by we continue to delete old messages but a lot of users forget to delete the ones that are inside the recently deleted it's in iOS 16 you can now go into the edit options here show recently deleted and you may have a ton of messages here taking up space and making your iPhone slower so what you want to do is of course select all of these and make sure that you delete all the messages that are stored here in order to improve performance within the messages application on your iPhone. A lot of users forget to do this and this is very important in order to clear the cache and the cookies from your iPhone within messages. By the way this also impacts the storage on your iPhone so if we go into iPhone storage here and we clear out those old messages that are stored on our iPhones that recently deleted section that we just talked about this will lower this number here as well giving your iPhone a lot more memory back that you may need for something else so yeah make sure you clear out your most recent deleted messages because they do take a long time sometimes a month or two to clear out by themselves and if you do it manually you can improve the performance of your iPhone now there's a feature on your iPhone called significant location and it's found under privacy so if we go into privacy and security and we tap under location services we scroll all the way to the bottom here and then we go to system services at the bottom of the list here we find a significant location now this feature collects data in order to provide relevant information maybe for maps maybe for traffic or let's say you go to the gym every day at a certain time it will pop up your gym membership for you so it knows where you go at all times however this can collect a lot of data and a lot of information that you can clear out with simply going into significant location here it'll ask for face id once you go in here of course you can turn this off entirely and clear all the history and you'll be able to see where you've been at what times throughout the days and this is a lot of data that's collected into your iPhone that also impacts system data or other system data as well so if you want to clear that you can do that by going into significant location under privacy and location services I highly recommend you do that in order to gain more memory back to your iPhone and improve the performance because it's taking up a lot of storage from your device as well and also it's just kind of an invasion of privacy in my opinion so let me know what you think about that one. Now this next one is more common than you may think. Now oftentimes I get people messaging me. They I deleted my pictures, I deleted my videos, and I still have a ton of storage taken up on my iPhone. What is going on? Believe it or not, a lot of you guys don't know that you have to go into albums. You want to scroll down and then go into recently deleted because once you delete the pictures and videos that you no longer want from your iPhone, they go into this trash can, if you will. Similar like a computer when you delete something on your computer and then you have to go delete the trash. This is very similar to that. It keeps it in here for about 30 days so that in case you change your mind, you can always recover those images. So you can tap in here, of course, it'll ask you for Face ID. Once you go ahead and authenticate, you can go into your recently deleted. It takes 30 days for these to delete automatically, but if you need that storage back instantly, you want to make sure that when you delete a video or a picture, you go into the recently deleted and delete it from there as well in order to fully get that storage back onto your device. And of course, this will also improve performance on your iPhone as well. Now, this last option that I'm asking you to clear out on your iPhone not many users even know about and it is regarding the App Store yes the App Store on our iPhones we use it basically every week or every month to download applications onto the iPhone but it also collects a lot of data that you can clear out so if we go into settings here and we go into the App Store extension we want to scroll all the way to the bottom here and then you'll find personalized recommendations if we click into here it will bring us into the App Store and some of the settings in regards to the App Store so right here we can clear app 
usage data. Basically, this data is collected to provide relevant ad recommendations based on the apps that you download and things like that. So Apple gives you a quick explanation here. But if you clear this out, of course, it will give you more storage on your iPhone. It also impacts other system data. So if you want to lower that, you can do this as well. You can clear the app usage data directly from the App Store. This is one that not many users know about, but it has an impact in performance as well. So there you guys have it. These are some of the tips that I guarantee that if you use will improve the performance of your iPhone. Let me know what you think about these. Did you know all of them? Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.